Hey guys, good morning or good afternoon, wherever you may be. I'm going to make this a short video on um, do you see faces when you close your eyes? And I'm going to explain in the video what that is, what you're experiencing, and what could possibly come about it. Um, this is a symptom that I get a lot of my clients that they have and they question what that is. And I love it when they come to me because I get to explain what it is and I'm about to do that for you. So let me know in the comments if you guys have this type of experience. I know I'm here live, so some of you may be jumping on after I mentioned that. But if you're watching the replay, let me know what type of experiences that maybe you have that you can't describe. And I'll be happy to do like a little series for you guys on my YouTube channel. You guys know that I am a expert in the spiritual awakening industry, and I absolutely love to help you guys with your symptoms and help you awaken and open up all of your energetic receptors so that you could just live a much better life. <laughs> um, so back to the subject at hand is, do you see faces when you close your eyes? Either when you're going to bed and you close your eyes to go to sleep, do you see like faces zooming in at you? Or do you see faces like say, for example, when you're in the shower and you go to rinse your hair, are you seeing random faces, faces that you have no idea who they belong to? And maybe you're feeling like you're just imagining these these faces um, or do you see faces even with your eyes open, but maybe through like a little bit of a veil. So maybe through like your shower curtain um, or like maybe the shower um, door, like some of you guys have those like glass shower doors or um, do you see faces at night looking through your windows? I know that might sound creepy, but it's, it's okay. It's going to be all right. Um, I want to share with you what that, that possibly is. And you may be shocked that, in reality, these, these are people, these are past loved ones that are coming to you. And when I help my clients, they're like, yeah, but I don't know who these people are. Well, the interesting thing about when you're having the symptoms of mediumship, right? And I've talked about this in other videos is past loved ones will try to communicate with you, whether they know you're developed or not, they're trying to get their message through. Um, so, but however, some of y'all have what I call your mediumship light bulb on. So these past loved ones kind of flock to these people that have like their, their mediumship light bulb on because they know that they have a better chance of delivering their message. And this is why if you're having some of these symptoms, this one particular that I'm talking about is seeing faces, that you may have your mediumship light bulb on and these faces and these past loved ones are actually coming to you in hopes that you're going to deliver the message. But the problem here is if you're not developed, then all you're doing is seeing the faces. You're not receiving their message and you're not, you don't know how to receive it and you don't know how to figure out who to deliver this message to, um, which is where like I come in with, and my awaken program comes in because once you develop, you're going to understand why these people are coming to you, how to receive their message, how to communicate back with them, how to create more of like a boundary so that you're not being bothered all the time. Because once, once they know that, you know, that your light bulb is on, they're becoming, <laughs> they will be coming um, and how to say no, um, all those types of things. Um, and what can happen after you develop into this, you don't have to speak to the dead. Like I never wanted to speak to the dead, but I think learning that you can. And I think understanding the spiritual realm helps you navigate more of your life. And, and so for example, um, I don't necessarily sit down and like read dead people, but when I do want information, it's easy for me to receive it. I just literally need to ask for it. Right. Um, or if I do want to speak to a dead person, I literally just need to call on their essence and bam, they're there. And we're having a great freaking conversation. Um, and you could get so much more information from speaking to these other realms. So you guys, I hope you enjoyed this short video on are you seeing faces? This is an aspect of mediumship, but it's also, again, an aspect of clairvoyance, which is psychic seeing. When we're doing mediumship, we're using all of our energetic receptors. Seeing faces is you seeing through your mind's eye. Um, and so that is an aspect of clairvoyance. So when you develop you may be a more way more visual person where somebody else might be like hearing the voice of spirit versus seeing, um, seeing them. 
and then communicating with them, which is the whole, which is a whole other thing. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it kind of helped you. If you have questions and you have symptoms that you want me to like kind of analyze for you, make sure you leave a comment on my video. Make sure you like and subscribe here and um, come and join us in your spiritual awakening community on Facebook or follow me on Instagram at I am Brandeline. I'll talk to you guys soon.